Did you know that a recent study published in November 2015 showed that high levels of vitamin C can kill colorectal cancer cells. At the end of this video, you will learn about how vitamin C can enter into a cancer cell and how it will lead to the death of colorectal cancer cells. That's coming up. <music> Hi, my name is Aigun Shahin from Cancer Education and Research Institute, formerly known as Cancer Research Simplified. Today we will update you again about the latest cancer research news. We will share with you the latest cancer research study that is published in a journal called Science in November 2015 that showed high levels of vitamin C can kill colorectal cancer cells. Dr. Kantley at Cornell Medical College in New York and his colleagues studied colorectal cancer cells that have a mutation or gene abnormalities in the genes called KRAS or BRAF, which are commonly mutated or abnormal in this type of cancer. High levels of oxidized vitamin C can kill cancer cells. The researchers have shown that cancer cells make unusually large amounts of a receptor, which is a protein that is expressed on the cell surface, that takes up the oxidized vitamin C molecule. Once oxidized, vitamin C is taken up by the receptors and enters inside the cell. It kicks off a reaction that leads to cell death, which we also call apoptosis, by depleting a molecule called glutathione, which normally binds to damaging free radicals and make them inactive. The researchers suggest that with more research, vitamin C could be used to treat some colon cancers. We would like to give you an important side note here. It is known that gray food contains a good amount of vitamin C, but it is not recommended for cancer patients that are currently under chemotherapy to consume gray food. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to donate to our cancer education nonprofit organization, which we will be really grateful for, you can do so on our website at cancerinstitute.org. It's again cancerinstitute.org. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next episode.